In this video, we're going to show the solutions for the weekly homework titled Ex Equations and Expressions. For example, one, we have write an expression for seven less than twice the sum of n and five. Now, seven less than less does mean subtract, but when it's followed by the word than, it means that the seven is actually going to go behind something. Okay, so I'm going to start with twice. So twice means times two. The word sum here is the answer to an addition problem. That means you have to put something in parentheses. And you'll notice I did give you a little hint there, so that's going to be n plus five. And then make sure you go back and do your less than, so it's minus seven at the back, not at the front. Now I did see some people interpret less than as the greater than or less than symbol, but uh, that's not what we're using here. We're just doing an expression, and only things that have expressions on both sides will use these symbols, just like equations. Uh, example two, uh, the first thing I want to point out is some of the errors that I noticed. Some people were trying to clear the fraction by multiplying by five. Well, unless you have an equal sign and something else over here that you can multiply by five, you cannot clear the fraction out at all. So you kind of just have to deal with it. Um, so the first thing we do is the innermost uh, parentheses. So we're doing PEMDAS, so we're going to do the two plus five. So we have three fifths brackets 27 minus and then 2 plus 5 is going to give us the 7, close our brackets, and then a 2, or power 2. Now we still have to do what's inside the innermost brackets, that's uh, 27 t uh, minus 7, and that is going to give us 20. And I still have a power 2, so I have to do my power 2 next. So my power 2 is going to give me 400, and then 400 times 3 fifths. Now what you can do is pretend that this is over a 1 and multiply straight across. I saw some people do this. This is 1200 over 5, which will end up giving you 240. Or one of the things that I like to do is cross simplify. So I'd take the 400 and divide by 5 first, and then whatever that answer is, come up here and times by 3, and I'll still get 240. Example 3. The first thing you're supposed to do here is the power 2. That's the innermost um, property, or uh, order of operations, so I'm going to bring down the rest of the numbers here, and that 2 to the third power is actually 8. Make sure you use a calculator there. Bring down the rest of the problem. Now I have to go and combine my 14 and my 8, and 14 minus 8 is going to leave me with a 6. And now the next thing I do is times here, so I have 3, and then 42 plus 5 minus 18. Then when I combine those together, so I have 3 times 47 minus 18. Then I want to multiply the 3 and the 47, and that will give me 141 minus 18. And then the last step is subtract here. We have 123 ends up being our final solution. Uh, the next problem here, we have to substitute before evaluating. So we have to substitute x with a 2. So this becomes 10 times 2 minus 3 times 2 squared. And then evaluate. Most people didn't mess up here, so 10 times 2 is 20. But on this next step is where people messed up. They did the 3 times the 2 first, and then carried over to the power of 2. That's the wrong order. You are supposed to do exponents first. So we have 3 times... 2 squared, which is 4. So that should be 3 times 4, not 3 times, or 6 squared, which is 36. So the next step then would be to um, multiply that. It's going to give us 12. And our last calculation here, 20 minus 12, should leave us with 8. Uh, this problem, the most common error was people um, not writing the problem down correctly. So 6, and in place of m here, we're going to substitute a 6 again. So we have 6 minus 1 all over 2, and then print these down here in place of that m, we're going to put another 6. And then we have a plus 3. I'm going to do this on the side here. So do inside here, so I have 6 times, and then 6 minus 1 is 5. And now I'm going to do this times here, so 6 times 2 is going to give me 12 plus 3. Uh, tw uh, 6 times 5 is going to give me 30. And then 12 plus 3, I did see some people do this wrong. They subtracted 3 instead of adding 3, and that is 15. And, of course, uh, 30 divided by 15 is equal to 2. So 2 should be your final solution. Number 6, 
First thing we want to do is simplify both sides. So right now I have like terms of 15m and negative 9m. When I combine those together, I end up with 6m plus 4 equals negative 32. And again, the only thing I noticed here was some people were combining those wrong. Now it's a multi-step, so minus 4 from both sides. 6m is going to equal negative 36. Divide both sides by 6 and you have m by itself equaling a negative 6. Question 7, combine your like terms here. So that's going to be 5b minus 13b, which is negative 8b. We still have a negative 17 left over, equaled to 7. Then I'm going to add 17 to both sides as I continue to do reverse PEM does here. And I have 24 on this side, and this reduces to a 0. 0 plus the negative 8b is going to give you negative 8b. And the only thing you have left to do is divide by a negative 8. And I saw some people leave their answer as a positive 3 when it should be a negative 3. You must get rid of the negative here so that that side comes back to a positive 1. Number 8, we're going to distribute here first, and that's going to give us 8y minus 40. I did see some people leave this as a 5. Bring down your 6y minus 18. And the y's on the left and the right hand side are smaller coefficients, so I'm going to minus 6 y's from both sides. That way we end up getting a 0 on this side, and 0 minus 18 leaves us with negative 18. So I have 2y minus 40 is going to equal negative 18. Now I'm going to isolate the y by adding 40 to both sides. This becomes a 0, plus 2y is 2y, it's an identity. And then negative 18 plus 40 leaves you with 22. And the last step is divide by 2 on both sides. So this becomes 1, which is an identity, times y, which is y, leaves us with 11. Number 9, the only thing I can do right now is try to bring my variables all to one side. So minus 4z from both sides. This becomes 0, this becomes 0, leave me with negative 15 equals 11. And some people did come, come up with that, and all they did was put a little slash to there, meaning it doesn't equal. What we want you to do is to interpret that. What we mean here is there is no solution. And you may see solutions written, or no solutions written as like a little circle or an O with a slash, so it means the null set or the empty set. The last question here says find the perimeter of the square, and of course the word square is kind of a key uh, word here. A lot of people did uh, take their 10x's, add it to their 6x's, called that 16x's plus 8, and then they just doubled the whole thing because they realized this was only half the perimeter and they gave me 32x plus 16. Now that is correct, that's its algebraic expression. However, since this is a square, we do know that these two sides are equal to each other, which means we can actually solve for the value of x. So 6x plus 8 equals 10x. And once you know what the value of x is, you can actually tell me what the perimeter of the square happens to be. So I'm going to minus 6x's from both sides because this 6 or this x has a smaller coefficient. So that becomes 0 plus 8 is 8. And now I have a 4x on this side. And then divide bo both sides by 4. So I can get x by itself, so I can see that x actually equals 2. Now x equals 2 is not the perimeter. Remember, this is just the value of x. So if you substitute a 2 right here, it turns out that this side is 20, because 2 times 10 is 20. But each side of the square is 20, so when you add them all up, you end up getting an area, or sorry, a perimeter of 80 units squared.